two, two hard punching southpaws. I just don't see this fight going the distance. Oh, he throws every punch in the book. Three fights in three years, but he said, listen, I stayed in the gym. 31 years old, the nightmare. And if you saw his last fight. Keeping an eye early on on how Akhmedali of you. What an impressive closing of the show in his last fight. Knock him out to the body. I mean, that was a body shot. Uh, I, I think Tapales has equally as good. Most of the time you injure your hand is because you hit the hard part of it. To say about round one. Whoa, there's a left. Ah! Tapales landed five. <laughs> <laughs> Medaliev. Actually, that was in 2021. Nice uppercut there. Guard. Todd, you mentioned Owasa. From Tapales. I think he's fought his. Ooh. Again. You know, that, that uppercut. Again. That uppercut rock. Tapales has the right game plan. You know, stuff. Aqua Dolly, that's an that's a awkward punch to throw, but you can see the heavy hand. Could fight anyone anytime. And I'll tell you one thing, man. Beck the bully, who of course was famously knocked out by Gabe Rosado. Yeah, he kind of woke Akhmedaliev up there a little bit. So the year, but Chris, we got that rematch coming soon. Yeah, actually, uppercuts. Years now, that he wasn't going to do it. I'm not shocked. by the sword. You said how tough it is to land that lead uppercut, Sergio. Again, but at least he tried to jab his way into the body. Tapala said the reason for his inactivity, he said, listen, I've been there. Uh, MJ Akhmedaliev is so uh, uh, cautious and leery. Mandatory, so I'm just waiting a long time for this fight. Giving credit to Tapala, but the MJ Akhmedaliev we've seen in the past lets his hands go at a far greater frequency. These guys, they're, 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 they're not... Akhmedali was not going in there. Look, see that overhand left that just missed by Tapalos, and another one just... They have so much power that they can land the first punch. Thought we'd see the old MJ who comes out throwing bombs. You know, that gets Akhmedali to try to counter something, and then you could hit him with something bigger. Unified champion, and right now it looks like, like he's put even more pressure. You can see Akhmedali is trying to win this round, so if Tapalos could actually lead uppercut, has been landing, so Tapalos could actually be... Sending a message then on Akhmedaliev. It's not a punch that, that... That when they watch tape, they thought Akhmedaliev when he throws punches. That's a fighter. Yeah, but with fight, I agree. I'm thrown off them. But Tapala should go back to that. You aim for the head. You just aim for their, their shoulder or their bicep or their feet. So it's always going to be awkward. Of Tapala, as Akhmedaliev has been pretty inactive. You know, it's kind of, oh, there's a... I'm more impressed watching him live than it was on video. Tapala's is a really Tapala's rolled with that one. That was a left hand of the Awasa fight. What Tapala's would tell you is that he took a nasty headbutt early in that fight. As Marlon Tapalas appears to 11 0 with eight KOs. There's a solid shot. Total uh, 37. Was there ever a night where the bell rings? Jab from Akhmedali of two. I mean, this is going to be a, a, a... For the, the opening round, you're like, I just don't feel like myself tonight. <laughs> French philosopher. <laughs> Wide open there. On the side, no no punches from Akhmedali. Tan held up high. I'm really impressed. Oh, there's a nice combo. A, a sharp jab. Bloody the nose of Akhmedali. Hometown. Nice right hand there from Akhmedalia. I've seen Akhmedalia throw something behind. The power will finally see an angle. Choke Latino. Ooh. Oh, and left hand there. A good one from Tapalas. That was a beautiful, well timed punch by Tapalas. And there's right hook. The angle that he gets on opponents. This is the first time we've seen it. Four got rounds to one. Yeah, I've got Tapalas in control up until this point. Clearly one. That is after Awasa beat him. Oh. Big nice shot. Right hand there for. Perfect. Look at that. We saw Hesta, another Philippine boxer, beat Jojo Diaz. Yeah, slowly stepping back. Making... With his jab, but as you're seeing, he's oh, last... And just like that, a left hand lands for MJ. That right hook by Tapalas. But there could be some openings for the Philippines. And 2023 may be unfolding in front of us. Tapalas. Right now, nothing's landing really cleanly. Starting to jab a lot more. Overhand left. Ooh, that might have been right on the... Known for the one-punch knockout. Oh, speaking of one-punch... Right now. Whoa, he left... 
left himself open for that shot. Some shots for sure, but so too did Marlon Tapales. People would have expected this fight to be going the way it is. There's that jab. Fighters, it was needed. Both these fighters need that jab. And Ooh. now, with, right now against Akhmadaliev, that jab right there. He's been so successful as, a, as an Olympian, as a champion. The, the footwork and the angles of Akhmadaliev. Mm -hmm. And now that jab's in the face. Will we see something similar in our main event? Every round counts now for... Lining up Akhmadaliev. He's trying to set him up for a left hand. Let's go in the corner now of Akhmadaliev and Chris Mannix. Yes, we do. What is Tapalas doing that's giving him so much trouble? To a very competitive fight through eight rounds, what are you seeing? Get trouble, get, getting in. But once he's in, he's doing very well. Matter of time, but didn't really elaborate. You think he was saying... I would, I would like to... Other than that, Tapalas has been... In, in, uh... But you never know what the judges are seeing. Look at like shots like that. There's a right hand. Clean left hand, followed by a right hand. Oh, big left hand! Tapalas can take a punch because that was a... <laughs> Good shot, yeah. Dr. Dahlia. You can see the, the crowd trying to urge MJ on. Tapalas, look, you can't, you can't rest on the success. Every one of these rounds have been to the win. You can't expect that you're winning these rounds and the judges are getting you all these. 6 85 to Tapalas. Yeah, I think both these guys hurt. Apadaliev. Sneaky, he's powerful, he's dangerous. Both these guys landing big right hooks. Both of them taking them well. That left broke through the guard of Tapalas. That's in the body. Still not too late. MJ seems to have woken up a little bit. The smart fighter he is. There's the power jab. What Dolly is doing right now. Overhand left. Two to go. It's going to come down who's better and who can dig down. I also think the last few rounds, we've seen Akhmedalia for the aggressive fight uh, on, on Akhmedalia. Did he pile up enough of those early rounds to go for himself? Tapalas hasn't lost since 2019. Tried an angle there. Caught him. There's the chopping left. Oh, there's a left from And a champion like Akhmedalia. Corner said, This is it. Three more minutes. Relax. Now Tapalas is trying to call an MJ. There's a body shot by Tapalas in MJ Akhmedali. Anytime you see a fighter put his hands on the ropes, left hand scores for MJ. He's exhausted. It could literally come down to this final three minutes. Nightmare. Well, he caught him. That was nearly a knockdown. There. You guys finally digging down to the body in the last round. Jab will come in and in, in play. Oh, big shot. For MJ. Once again, Bantamweight titles on the line. He's come back strong, though. Good body shot by Akhmadalia there. The pressure applied by Akhmadalia. So it will go to the judges.